welcome back to my channel and in today's video I have a Sally inspired makeup look from Nightmare Before Christmas. If you guys would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. So first things first, before I get into the video, I wanted to explain where I got all of Sally's items that I'm using today. So this necklace is from Spirit Halloween, the headband and the dress is from Hot Topic. I'm going to start by doing my face first. I had just gotten this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I'm kind of thinking it's a little too dark but once it goes on my skin it kind of blends in so I'm just gonna try it again and see how it goes so I'm going to be using the Anastasia luminous foundation and this is in the shade 410 C I'll go ahead and put some primer on I'm kind of feeling in the mood for some primer and this is the Maybelline master prime 500 blur and defend so today's look, I'm not doing any kind of face painting or anything. I'm just going in and doing an inspired look. I love um, inspired looks, so I'm really excited to do this creation that I have been thinking about for a while, and I'm so excited. So for foundation, we're gonna go in. All right, let's see how this blends out today. I don't think it's too bad, honestly. A really full coverage foundation. I got this one from the Ulta Beauty Steals. Um, they had it for like half price, so I think it was like $19, which really was cheap for this foundation considering the quality and the brand. I love the Ulta Beauty Steals. Getting all your favorite high end products for like half off. I love it. I love this coverage of this foundation and like the feeling it's like dewy moisturizing I love it so I'm now going to be going in with my LA girl pro conceal and this one is in the shade light tan these are getting empty so I'm just gonna squeeze it beforehand before I flinch <laughs> just gonna conceal under my eyes just using a light buffing motion so I don't take away all of the concealer. Are any of you guys going trick-or-treating this year? If you are, comment down below who you guys are going to be. I love doing cosplays and stuff. I'm not one really for face painting. I feel like the way my skin type is, it would break out, but I love doing inspired looks. And my older sister has like this Sally dress and others that I'm not going to name that I will be doing in the future to come. Um, and so I was just inspired by seeing her closet and I was like, I just have to do this. So, so excited for this video. Also going to put some concealer on my eyelids. And while I do that, I also like to shape underneath my eyebrow just to clean anything up when I go to fill them in. I know most people do this after they fill their eyebrows, but I like to change it up like I say all the time. And just lightly buff this out. So now I'm going to be setting my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is in the shade 330. And I also like to set my eyelids with this powder just because when I go to put on the eyeshadow it keeps it lasting all day long. Next I'm going to be going in with contour and for that I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Like I said, it is an inspired look, so all of the makeup steps are kind of similar to normal makeup. But it's all your take. It's Halloween. Have fun with it. Makeup's always fun. Cosplays are always fun. You can make it your own however you wish to. And as usual, I always like to do my cheeks, my temples, sides of my nose just a little bit, and then my jawline. For highlights, I am going to be going in with my Carly Bible like Holy Grail palette. I love this palette. So I'm just going to be going in with this peachy shade, this pink, and I'm just going to add a touch of this really light white. This highlighter palette is like one of my favorites. Like you could just tell. I just dipped into it a little bit and you could see the pigmentation. It's just gorgeous. I love that. 
And since this is a fun cosplay inspired look, I'm going to be taking this bronze shade right here and I'm going to be throwing that over my matte contour. I used to do this in high school and it was gorgeous, like when I wanted a really bright glowy look. And with all this, I'm kind of wanting to have that, so I'm going to throw it in. Just add some depth, so pretty. And for blush, I am going to be using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush, and this is in the shade Dare to Soar. This is yet another like metallic powder I'm using, so I used like a metallic contour, highlight, and now blush. But I just feel like it's so cool for a cosplay. I did not plan that by the way, I am just seeing that now. And I'll dust some on my nose, and a little on my chin. I am literally glowing. <laughs> It's so cool. For today's eye look, I will be using multiple palettes. So I will be using the ColourPop High School Musical palette. And I will show you why. So this has like all these shades that remind me of Sally. So I picked this one. And then I also have the Morphe 25L. I love this palette. So gorgeous with all the rainbow shades. And this obviously has like the yellow, the pink, blues, and everything like that. I'm not going to take it into the entire crease, but just kind of in the middle towards the outer V, and I'm just going to drag that out for an elongated dramatic effect. I'm also going to use the end of my primer for that flat edge, just to create a sharpened edge. And now I'm just going to go in and just deepen the pigmentation. I will now be going in with this beautiful blue shade from the High School Musical ColourPop palette, and this is in the shade Troy. I will just be adding that to the middle of my eyelid and blending it into the pink. I'm now going to be going in with this beautiful yellow shade from the Morphe 25L, and this is in the shade Sunlight. I'm going to keep that right in the front of my eye. And I'll just keep packing the color on for pigmentation. That's one thing I love about this palette in the yellow. Like the more you add and pack on, the more pigmented it gets, even on darker skin tones like mine. And I just love how they all blend together. We are looking very Sally. Next to salify this look, I will be adding some black stitches in my crease with some black eyeliner. So these are the finished stitches. I did go ahead and finish the other eye off camera, but I'm still not done with the eyes. I'm going to be going in with this beautiful magenta glitter from the Build Your Own palette from ColourPop. Just to spice up this look, I'm going to be just lightly tapping some pink glitter into the pink spots on her eyeshadow. And an easy fix to clean up glitter is just take a spoolie and just whisk it away. And it is gone. To enhance my eyes even more, I'm going to be going in with my white cream liner from the High School Musical ColourPop line. Ooh, this is so creamy. This is the first time I'm using this. Works like a charm. And I'm just going to take it just a little bit below my lash line. Just making it a little more Sally doll. I'm now going to be taking this white shade Milk from the Morphe 25L palette and setting the white eyeliner. This helps so your eyeliner does not crease. It is time for lashes. Sally has huge eyelashes and I will be using the Kiss lashes and this is the Plunge lashes. 
Look at those, giant and wispy. So excited. This time for lashes, I will be using the Duo Adhesive, and I'm just going to line the lash band, and then wait the usual 30 to 60 seconds, and then I will apply them. Alrighty, lashes are now on. I feel like this look is coming together even more and I am so excited. We are getting near the end. I am now going to be blending the eyelashes with my real ones. And I'm using my Stella Huge Lash Mascara. And this is in the shade Black. And Sally has really elongated bottom lashes, so that's what we're going for. That looks beautiful, and now it is time for lips. So for lips, I'm going to be outlining my lips with a black eyeliner pencil, and then filling it in with a red lipstick. I changed black eyeliner pencils because that one was not working out so well. This one works a lot better. I'm using this red liquid lipstick by Morphe, and it is in the shade Morphe. Just gonna rub my lips together and then blend with a brush. To brighten it up just a tiny bit, I'm going to be using this NYX Slip Tease Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Cherry on top. Just a little bit. It's a little brighter than Morphe's, just for a little heightened effect. everyone so that was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this Sally inspired look if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to leave some comments down below on what other videos you guys would like to see and who you guys are dressing up as for Halloween don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you guys will never miss any uploads of mine and with all of that said I will catch you guys in my next video bye Mwah.